people in the St. Louis area more than a century ago heard these new rhythms, it was not like anything that they had ever heard before. They couldn't understand them. They couldn't follow them. They were completely confused, so they made fun of them. The tempo is raggedy, they said. It's ragged time. Ragged time. Ragtime. That's where we get the name. Ragtime music isn't based upon a heartbeat. It's based upon a raggedy beat. Bum, ba, 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 ba. In music, we have a term for that. We call it syncopation. Syncopation is when you take the accent away from the beat that you're accustomed to hearing it fall on. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And instead, you hear the accent fall on the weaker beats where we're not used to hearing an accent. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. If I accented syllables that usually aren't accented, my speech would sound strange. Syncopation is the main ingredient of ragtime. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to play the last part of The Entertainer. It's a beautiful melody, but try to ignore it. Just concentrate on the rhythm and ask yourselves, which rhythm do you hear, a heartbeat or a syncopated beat? right hand was playing that syncopated beat, that raggedy beat, not a heartbeat. Now what if I took the syncopations out of that music and I put in a steady heartbeat rhythm instead? What would it sound like? I won't change one note. I'll play the same exact notes that Scott Joplin wrote when he wrote The Entertainer in 1902. And without the syncopations, you'll hear the difference. Instead of this way, Now, without the syncopations, listen to it. It's not the same. It's boring. It has no life, no energy. It gets the energy from the syncopated beat. That's what ragtime is. And after a while, people got used to the syncopated beat, and they wanted to, to play that music on the piano. But they couldn't. Ragtime's not very easy to play. The music wants you to play two different rhythms at the same time. That's from West African music. We call it polyrhythms. Poly meaning plural. Plural rhythms. You don't hear that in Beethoven's music or rock and roll. When I played the last part of The Entertainer, you heard the syncopated beat probably very clearly being played with the right hand. You probably didn't pay much attention to what was going on in the left hand. The heartbeat. When we look at a painting, the first thing that most of us notice are the bright colors. They, they kind of make a first impression. The darker colors kind of sink into the background. It's the same for sounds. The higher pitches in the treble are more colorful. They stand out against the lower bass notes. If you listen carefully, you'll hear two different rhythms at the same time. Heartbeat, left hand, and syncopated beat in the right hand. And that's not very easy to play. Let me demonstrate how difficult this can be. I'll use my left hand to tap out a heartbeat. That's what the left hand does in ragtime music. Now my right hand we'll tap out a syncopated beat like this. Now let's see what's so difficult about playing this music. I'll tap the heartbeat with my left hand. Without stopping, I'll add the syncopations with the right hand. There were some people who heard this and said, this doesn't make any sense. You can't take West African polyrhythms and syncopations and add it to a European and American music. Why not? It made great sense. It made people feel good. That's what ragtime music is. Feel good music from different parts of the world, created in the USA over 100 years ago. Scott Joplin didn't originate ragtime. No one person sits down and creates a new type of music. No one person sat down and invented jazz or rock. New music comes around when musicians start experimenting in different ways. After a while, someone comes along to put these different ingredients together and something new is born. Scott Joplin wasn't the first ragtime musician. 
but he was the best. Now, let's listen to the famous first movement of one of Scott Joplin's most popular rags, The Entertainer. As you watch and listen, pay attention to the difference between the rhythm that the left hand is playing and the rhythm that the right hand is playing. We've included the actual piano music so that you can visually compare the evenness of the left hand bass with the syncopated raggedy rhythm in the right hand treble. And now, The Entertainer. Enjoy. at a slower tempo and look at the written music even closer. Once again, try to differentiate between the steady beat of the left hand bass and the syncopated beat of the right hand treble. Now, using your left hand on your left thigh, play along with the steady beat of the left hand as you follow the music. Now, using your right hand on your right thigh, play the syncopated beat of the right hand as you follow the music.
Now that you've practiced both parts, let's have fun and play the two rhythms simultaneously. Play the left hand steady beat on your left thigh while you play the syncopated rhythm of the melody with your right hand on your right thigh.